Our resident Manamku, our community of Dominican sisters, and our staff are all safe, and we have steadily continued with our service and care amidst this pandemic to this day, end quote. However, despite safety protocols, yesterday, St. Dominic's Senior Care Home posted on their Facebook account that over the weekend, swab testing was done of the whole facility to include 36 residents and between 70 to 75 staff. The results? 15 residents and three employees testing positive for COVID. They immediately informed the families of all the residents, and a plan of action was executed with officials from public health. COVID-19 incident commander Fernando Esteves. I notifi- notified my case investigation team to begin conducting a case investigation of St. Dominic's because of its high-risk nature. Um, so they did start that initial coordination and discussion with St. Dominic's on Sunday. Um, public health, uh, members from public health went over there to conduct an assessment determine what the needs were. Based on that, on Monday, we sent uh, staff over there to assist St. Dominic's in um, adjusting some of the the protocols um, for this situation. Also providing uh, support with some PPEs and HEPA filters um, as they get through this. Seven public health nurses moved all COVID positive residents to the ward of the senior home in order to separate them from those who were not affected. Public health provided much-needed assistance as St. Dominic's has no reserve or backup staff. Estevez adds that once residents were secured, they were able to analyze the situation and establish a treatment plan for the positive residents. And they're under constant monitoring, so their baselines were good. There was no, um, at least at at that point, uh, based on the evaluations, there was no need to move any of the patients to the hospital. They were doing well. Um, And so just coordinating for the treatment and then coordinating for um, my containment, our containment folks to go over there and do their jobs. Based on their risk criteria, they were the best candidates for citrovimab. So 15 IV infusions with citrovimab were given by HSP. The Senior Homes Post goes on to say, quote, We will be in a fierce battle with the virus this coming 10 to 21 days, and we beg for your understanding, support, and prayers, especially for our Manamku, who will be doing their own individual fights with the virus. For our frontliners and for all of us here at St. Dominic's, we will all do our best to do our duty and serve our vulnerable population. We will take care of our Manamku, whom you have entrusted to us, end quote. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jonah Gancharfris.